So just to show you guys where I got these from was from printables. This is the username. The If you guys do not have a bigger printer, what you'll end up needing to do is to print these four in PLA. And these are where your LED lights will go connect to. And these four will be the TPU where the glass will sit on if you want that extra protection. Right here, which he mentions in the details, he's got three updates on it, but he also mentions right here for a bigger printer that you can check out, we'll bring you over here. So the Anycubic Cobra Max is perfect size for this, and you can even pick if you want it on the left side or the right side. I, I picked left, which you can end up seeing it fit perfectly here, and only took about 11 hours and 15 minutes, which was spot on. For these two, it only took, they only took about an hour 15 also, well, an hour 15 for each of these, and these were printed in TPU and the new HF-95A that Bamboo has provided. So coming over to Amazon, the link is also in the description on the printables. I will leave a description in mine as well. These are the LED lights they suggest, and one of the reasons is because it comes with uh, not only a remote and a transmitter, but also a power plug-in for the wall, which on a previous one did not. And so I ordered two of these. It's You have more than enough if you have multiple printers for one spool, but you do not get the extra wall plug-in and stuff, and you have to solder and everything. He goes over a lot of things that you can see the LED is on this angle here with the TPU shield and the riser off the build plate. You can see the green, that's the PLA. The black is TPU. But. So putting this thing together, these are the LEDs I used. I'll put the link, they linked it in the description for this. These corner pieces are made out of TPU. And these are what will go along the edge for the glass to sit on. It's supposed to dampen it. But being this, there's a little part right here. So I'm just going to cut this one. I'm not too worried about the access. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this missing part. I think it'll still be better than what it is. So this part obviously will be aiming down. This one is for the back left corner. So it'll be sitting like this. For these TPU pieces, there's little notches that go right here. And these holes are for the screws on the glass plate. This was printed with the Bamboo TPU high speed, or their new high speed filament.
Just like that. So, these are the screws I was talking about that'll match up with these two little holes. And so this glass plate will fit. Right into place like that. Nope. I lied. Just like that. So this is the one I'm going to be putting it on right now. Only this one has just the built-in light, which if you have one, you know it's not a whole lot. This one, I took apart a ring light that if you turn it on, it does a pretty decent job of doing it. But even on the camera, you can see dark spots where it misses. The thing that I like about this one is it comes with its own controller. This is for the controller, so you have to plug it into the power bank and then plug this side into your lights in order to have the controller work. So this is the new one on, as you can see it only raises it a small amount. And with it plugged in, we'll turn it on. So this is the before, and this is the after. As you can see that part is in that top left corner, which I'm not too upset about. But other than that, the entire chamber is lit up. I'll end up doing it to the other one as a comparison, but right now I just have this one. So I'm not sure how much you can see through the glass, but this is the new one. And this is the old disassembled ring light. I definitely can tell a big difference between the brightness between the two. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.